The other day I created this cute learning from home space for Patrick in his bedroom and today I'm going to be finishing it off by installing a large pin board up above his desk. I use this same pin board in my office and creative space and whenever I share photos of it I always get asked questions about what materials I used and how I did it so I'm going to show you how to do that in this quick video. The first step I'm doing is gluing a piece of timber to the face of this larger timber plank which will create a bit of a picture ledge shelf. This is going to be a floating shelf that will sit directly beneath my pin board. Now that it's dry, I'm going to use some L-shaped brackets, which I'll screw onto the other side of the plank. This is what's going to mount it to the wall and create that shelf effect. Rather than put the bracket directly against the timber, I'm leaving a nine millimeter gap, which is the same depth as the pin board. It means that the pin board will be able to slot in between this space and create a seamless finish between the shelf and the pin board. Now it's time to screw the shelf to the wall. Because I'm doing this alone and don't have a second set of hands, I'm just going to loosely screw the left side of the shelf to the wall and then use the spirit level to check that it's plumb before screwing down the right hand side. Once you've screwed in all of your brackets, put your pin board in position. Here you can see I'm slowly wedging it in between that gap that I created between the bracket and the shelf. And that means that I won't need to put any screws down the bottom. I just need to simply finish by putting two screws at the top of the pin board to attach it to the wall. And all that's left to do is pin up your work or if you're using it as a mood board, your inspiration. The possibilities for this are really endless. You can use it as a family planner. I hope that you got some ideas from this DIY and might even be tempted to give it a go yourself. 